you can't hold me down. You, you, you can't hold me down. You, 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 you can't hold me down. You, you, you can't hold me. A little bit after I got done cutting that large tree branch that overhung the carport there on this duplex. I started thinking that I should just go ahead and cut all these trees away so I won't have any future problems with tree limbs falling or any storms. And these trees are just way too close to the building uh, on top of that. So I decided that I'd go ahead and rent a lift. So I ended up renting a lift and this thing I checked online it said it has a, about a 51 foot reach going up and then I think it was 27 reach going kind of out. So it'll be kind of a, you know, it's not straight, but that's about what it's going to have. It wasn't quite tall enough to where I needed it, but I was able to go ahead and be in the bucket, being all the way up. And then I also used a pole saw, and I was able to get everything that I needed done with this lift and a pole saw. So I'm going to go ahead and walk you around the, the lift, let you guys see it, check it out, and the let you see the controls and then I'm just gonna let you guys watch me as I work All right, here's the setup for the functions of this lift. All this right here is also on the panel up in the bucket. This is just here for leveling. You level, you're gonna be hitting uh, extend and then push this and it'll auto level. You can also retract it and then you can also do each leg individually. This is when you're down here working from the panel on the ground. If you wanna use it in the bucket, you'll switch it over to this. I'm using these, they're all individually for each hoist. So you got the speed over here, so how fast you want it to go. So you can rotate, rotate the back main boom, secondary boom, and then the bucket boom, and then you have the bucket in and out, and then you also have this extension. So you're gonna have to hold this while you're pushing these buttons. I'm gonna go ahead and retract it because I'm getting ready to move it. Bringing them all the way in. I'll show this also uh, with a whole view of it. I'm just kind of showing you guys the panel right now. I was able to rent this lift for $250 a day. They also had a little dolly. Uh, I think it was an electric dolly. They wanted $50 a day for it. I opted out of that. Uh, I was good with using my truck. And that, I found out that I could just lift it by when I extend that riggers out. That it was pretty easy just to take it off that ball and let it come up off that ball. And then also if I get that truck positioned right, when I lift the riggers up, I got it to go right back down onto that ball with uh, minimal adjustments. So it worked out pretty good on hooking it and unhooking it with those riggers. But he also was renting out a little dolly for $50.
I've been on a couple of lifts before, but I've never been on a lift uh, with a chainsaw cutting trees. So this is uh, quite a bit different than what I was used to, and also the lift that I was on before, I was probably only going up about maybe 30 feet, so I was also going up a little bit higher than what I have in the past. Uh, for those of you that haven't been on a lift and you're going to attempt this, uh, just that it's going to take you a little bit of time to get used to it when I first went up, and you can feel that wind blowing the bucket or you're, you're moving, and it's uh, you can feel the sway in it. So it does take a little bit of uh, time to get used to it when you first go up. Uh, you're probably going to first think, I can't do this, and quit right away. Uh, just get yourself adjusted to that bucket. Uh, get comfortable. Just be up there for a little bit, and then just start going at it slowly. I also noticed on this one, the bucket uh, in its natural spot kind of tilts in, so it puts you in a weird angle. Uh, later, I decided that I was going to test it, and I actually lifted the bucket up a little bit, and it made it more level for me. And that actually changes a huge uh, thing when you're actually standing level in that bucket. When it was actually tilted down a little bit, it just made you feel like you were going to like fall out, even though you're not. But like, just uh, adjusting that bucket some helped a lot for me being more comfortable in this bucket. So yeah, for sure, when you get up in there, and you get up that high, and you feel that sway... Just uh, have faith in the equipment and just slowly work at it. My nephew came a little bit later and wanted to come up in the bucket. I think when we got up, up you'll see it when he gets in it. When we got to about the AC, he was uh, wanting to come back down, but I went ahead and finished what I needed to do. I think it really bothered him when I was actually starting the chainsaw because I'm up there and when I pull that string, it really shakes the whole bucket and stuff and he was definitely uneasy in it but by the end of the day I was using it extending it all the way out getting where I needed to be and it I was more comfortable with it so I just wanted to point that out if any of you guys get out there and are gonna use a lift that it just takes a little bit to get easy with using it Positioning the trailer, the main part of the machine, I'm going to call it the axle. Positioning that is probably one of the most difficult thing to do is trying to get it close enough where you can still use that reach to get up there and actually cut the trees. But also keeping that axle part of the machine far enough away and not directly under the branch that you're cutting so those branches won't fall and damage on it. The guy that we were renting this machine from said that's one of the issues that he's having is people are renting this and they're using it to cut trees and people are cutting uh, branches down and some of them are falling and doing some damage to some of the machines. So keep that in mind. Sometimes you just have to readjust it with the truck. It can take a little bit of time, but I mean, at least then you're not damaging anything and just be more mindful of where those tree branches are. I also went ahead and put almost all this footage in 8x speed just so it wasn't super long. So note that it is going pretty fast and the machine doesn't operate that fast. So it's uh, plenty safe to be up there and it does a pretty good job leveling itself and it even has uh, the riggers even could extend. I didn't extend it but if you wanted to be a little bit more stable those uh, riggers can also extend out even farther.
Girl might want to see this.